Yo guys, today we have some strategy content, gonna review the questionable jam and hot 750 from yesterday's highlight. So this is the final table of the hot 750, I think it's the first or the second hand. And this guy opens of 12 big blinds, he's done some race folding before, final 10, but now it's kind of different and... I think my chef is bad getting into, getting into this because I don't think his opening range will be wide at all in this spot. I mean, it's pretty obvious. He has 12 big blinds on the final table. He opens into guys that have all rejamming stacks versus the stack size. Obviously, there's one big stack here, but that doesn't really matter. What is important is that there's two short stacks that are even shorter than him. So, looking back at this now, I think it's a pretty clear cut fold. But let's find out what is the bottom of our jamming range in this spot because it's a quite an interesting spot, right? Can we give him 0% bluffs here? It's possible, honestly. He might be just folding um, hands like queen check student here, for example, not even open them, or just open champ those. So, like, his raising range is really, really strong, usually. So, like, I'm not really sure why champ looking back at this, but I guess my reason was that I saw, like, a raise fold by him before, but a pretty clear cut fold usually here. Um, nonetheless, we're gonna quickly put the hand in and get some infos on the hand because I think it might be. Quite an interesting spot overall um, to define our jamming range. Um, wait one second, oh, I gotta go do it this way. Um, yeah, because it's quite an awkward spot if you actually the spot and you copy, you paste. Why is it so many? Well, we could just do it in a different way. Um, just open up the sixes here. This is pretty much the spot we are looking at. Right now we are just going to check out like chip PV wise and then I'm gonna look at ICM as well. Um, this opening range will be super tight in this spot, right? Like what I think we can give him here is just like hands that are really, really strong and then maybe the, we can find out how many bluff combinations we need to give him. Honestly, I think this will his, will his, be his value range. I hope you can see that on the video. So like aces through checks that he's been doing with. I think even like tens might be in there, might be an open champ for some people. I think most people will just open champ is king. He could have opened it though because the big one is quite tight, so he might get a little more action. So this is already a little debatable. Let's put the ace king, ace kings in there and look at the spot this way. Like the reason I don't put any other hands in here right now is that I think he will just open champ those. So this is the opening range I'm gonna go with for now. Then we'll see how many plus we have to mix in to make six profitable jam. Not sure if he has any at all, but let's see. Um, so I want to find out my pushing range. Let's see how often the big blind. Uh, over pushes here, or yeah, this is the over push range, which just will be, uh, I think something like that. I'm not sure about tens, maybe something like that. Um, and now his calling range, obviously, we will call all of these hands, <laughs> so we will see how. Wait. There we go. Um, so we can find out. Like, this would be a terrible push, obviously, in this scenario. We should be jamming queens plus versus that range. So, so let's start mixing in one plus, for example. Let's say, like, the, the queen check off here. Which is already quite some combinations. Which we're only flapping against, but these, that's a hand that wouldn't be calling. So let's calculate again. And suddenly you can jam these hands. Still tight as hell. Alright. Holy moly. That's pretty crazy. Um, so I'm gonna mix some more bluffs, like we see this is such a clear cut fold, it's insanely crazy. What the hell, what do I have to put in here that it actually becomes a jam? Alright, we're getting there. Um, Alright. Obviously it looks weird because I just try to give like some weird bluff combinations. It's fine that nines and eights are not a push anymore with that range. Um, because they have like less equity. This is like kind of a bad way looking at it. This is the issue about ICM ISA. But what we just see here is that if we already give him two, like all the offsuit hands, right? That's 16 combinations if I'm not mistaken right now. So like 32 extra. Um, it is so much. Like there, he has to be perfect so much in the spot for sixes to be a jam. So it's a clear cut 100% fold in this scenario. If you don't give him any bluffs, we should be even consider folding checks, which is absolutely insane, right? Like, we sit here with checks and we, we should fold. This is also only looking at chip EV, right? This is not 
this is the sick part about it. We are not even checking the ICM percentage because if we do that, all right, Queens just gets a break even sham was such an opening range with only value, which might be true in this spot. Um, what a craziest hand. Meaning again, like this is this is a great spot to bluff like in general, right? Like obviously a champ six is just a mistake, but it's crazy how how tight you have to be in this spot. Okay, like honestly, like sixes, I, I feel it's obvious it's a pretty clear cut fold, but tens? Like you sit here with tens and you make the fold, man. I mean I see it. Because is he really raising like sevens? Is he really raising eights? It really depends on the opponent as well. Like there's people out there will be raising race calling ace check in these spots because they just don't really know what's going on, especially in like a hot 750. So it's also depending uh, depends on how read on the opponent. I think with this guy we can actually I think this is a fairly reasonable range. And I didn't really consider like the champ too much at the time. I was like, oh this guy raised forward before. I didn't really look at his opening range, didn't really look at the spot. And therefore we'll see that it's a clear cut fold now. And I actually should be folding tens and checks. But I don't really see how I fold checks in this spot. Um, I have to have like a really, really serious read that he's only going to be opening these hands. And then we can make that happen. What we also got to realize is though here, I sit on 24 bigs, man. I'm in a safe second spot. 24 bigs is a ton on the fine table. If you lose 12, boom, it's suddenly one of the shorter stacks. The other short stacks here are all around are what's kind of capped and what they do. And not cap, but you know, we want to get those letters wait till they bust out, and therefore, yeah, what a horrible jam it was. Still, we're gonna continue quickly go over the other hands. Oops, that's the wrong way around. Wait, what? So, I guess we need, yeah, this is the way to go. Um, the check seven, I mean, it's pretty standard fold. Nine three, we fold ten nine. All right, sevens might be an interesting hand again. I like the two open jam here for 12 big blinds. I think that's pretty fine, but you know, let's find out. I'm gonna copy it again. Actually, we already have it in there, right? So let's check out the sevens. Um, boom. All right, this will be a little bit. There will be a little more math involved. We have a nice percentage of V. Yeah, I'm not sure what this high stack pushing range is. <laughs> mm. Did some math in the past in here, obviously. Um, so yeah, we have to. Wait, so this is uh, this is my pushing range. These ranges don't really matter as far as I, I understand the ACM. These are only like the calling ranges. If I push what they are gonna ice us with, it's gonna be um, ace queen. I'm not sure about ace check. Maybe ace check suited as low as pocket eights, I would say. If I jam 12 picks, I don't really see them fold the pocket eights, even though it might be correct. Um, so yeah, let's go with this range for now. Not saying that they will call exactly that, but I'm just gonna put this in for all of these guys. I mean, usually in a small bin, they can get a lot wider because they get like, better odds, but I still think like this is fairly reasonable. Maybe let these guys skip ace jack and the button and the cutoff, eh, uh, cutoff and the high jack. And then let the big bind, big bind call these type of hands. It's also a little deeper, so let's mix in the ace jack off the sevens. And see if we should be jamming in the spot haven't done the over calling ranges here um but they are super tight so i guess it's fine let's calculate for now and actually sevens is a folder here versus these exact calling ranges icm wise i mean it's close obviously but i have 12 picks he has three and a half big blinds oh i didn't really see that wow he is short as crazy as well so um I guess we can give him a little bit of a wider calling range. Like that. Which makes our jam a little better again. Maybe throw us the king six as well. Alright, actually stays the same pretty much. Um so yeah, Sam's is actually folding the spot ICM wise. Fucking insane. <laughs> Even folding pocket eights. I mean these guys might be calling like slightly tighter, but actually I don't I don't think that's too unreasonable what we gave them here. Um Wow, crazy. Crazy. Find the tables, man. I see him. Gotta be tight as hell. Lucky for us, we got it through, though. So, let's go over the oops, wrong direction over the last couple of hands. Um, I mean, you can check the king to suit it. I fold it here. Because this guy caught off six picks, I think it's pretty reasonable. 
They get it in. He fled a check turn off, which is terrible. He opened nines and then opened champ. You know, this is what I mean. Like, a guy like that with these stats raise co raises nine CGG of 10 big blinds. And that makes the spot with the sixes different again. Because, like, how the hell do you expect someone, like, with these stats to open raise nines of 10 big blinds, right? Like, I thought he would jam it, like, every time. And then he would bet calls the flop. Like, holy moly, man. Oh, wrong direction again, man. <laughs> Alright, pocket eights, we got one. Uh, yeah. That's a standard jam. And we get down. I mean, we can check the SA hand here for a second, but that's pretty... I don't think I need to run math on this one. I mean, we saw the sevens as a fold, so... Pretty simple spot there to fold the SA8. Which I actually did correctly. Nice. Did something correct uh, <laughs> on that final table. Go and check the ace check out here, because I jammed that one. Pretty similar spot again. I, I, I always mark these hands, but I have them, have them already in here. Um... I mean, we can pretty much leave the cardinal range the way they are. They, they might be like a little wider than that, but I think we will already see that. All right. <laughs> um, the fuck. <laughs> all right, all right. They are not correct. The ice ranges. This is, yeah, it's gonna be wider than that. 5.9% is the way to go, guys. <laughs> um, all right. Good thing I noticed that. I was confused there for a second. Like, holy shit. I was confused like crazy. Just gonna give them the standard range for now, and then we'll see about the stack sizes and maybe change one or two of these. Gonna give him a little bit of a wider range and a small blind. Um, maybe not even Sam's in the big blinds after for the big stack. Oh, the big stick is the smart man. But he has also chips. I guess he won't be calling sevens here. Um, with three bigs, he's going to be wide on the button. Going to get these type of hands in here as well. And he has 5.5, .5, so he might be slightly wider as well here. And then P1. Maybe he can get these two hands in here as well. But I'm pretty sure this is actually a, car a jam now, so... A check off comes up with a better jam than sevens given their calling range that we exactly put in. But even like these are so marginal that we could just like skip them and um fold the ace check as well. And just be jamming like ace check pseudo plus. These spots are pretty close, like I don't think the V will be like a huge difference here. Um but given that these guys rather call a little tighter than what I've put in here, like I'm not sure if everybody will call the eights and ace check off. It's tough to say, man. Like <laughs> Man, this really depends on the calling ranges. I think we're doing fairly fine jamming the ace check here, but overall I think I prefer fold nonetheless. Last hand is the ace queen suited here for 15 big UDG. I think that is just a pretty clear cut jam. In case you guys missed the hand, you get spoiled it now, but we get iced by ace king. And do not get there and bust down ninth place. Alright, let's see that hand. Um so the guy behind us will be ice swing. Honestly, like this is pretty tough. I mean he has five picks, okay. We're gonna get these these hands in there. But not, not he won't be much wider because of UTG jam in the spot. This guy still gets tens in there. And maybe a screen off. With eight picks, I think so. Like it's tough to say <laughs> Man, I say it so often it's tough to say, but like it's actually tough to say. Honestly, I think pocket nines might be falling here. Like, oh, this is tough. Like, is he folding his queen off? He might be folding his queen off, man. Like, it could look like this, no doubt. Um, yeah, not not too easy to say. Um, nines and ace king. Let's go with this range for now for all of these guys, and then once again adjust a little bit. Or maybe see how we do with that range, and then um, see. If it's actually a jam, I think it will be a pretty clear cut jam. Though, but yeah. Give me one second here. Tam, tam, tam. Let's quickly calculate and see how profitable it's going to be. Yeah, like it was these calling ranges is actually close jam. If they call. Um, but yeah, it's still gonna be a jam, obviously. I mean, if you look at Chippy V here. I think it's gonna be a fairly obvious one. <laughs> Alright. Maybe I'm totally off with the cardinal ranges there, but I guess it's actually fine given how tight these guys gonna be. 
But yeah, ICM makes quite a difference here, obviously. Because this is the entire reason we gave them these tight carding ranges is that people are scared on the final table. And therefore, I think it makes a lot of sense to jam the Ace-Queen suited. Ace-Queen off, I would have ripped as well. I think that looking back, I would fold Ace-Jack suited here, UTG, for 15 with like a 5 big bet stack, a 2.5 big bet stack. You know, ICM is crazy on us right now. I mean, the 2 big bet stack is going to be counting wider again, but it shouldn't change too much to this decision. So... I think the Ace-Queen suited to champ is pretty fine here, um, but yeah, we definitely saw the huge mistake there with the sixes. So guys, what you pretty much should take out of this video is that ICM is not only about like analyzing spots afterwards and seeing, oh, this is a jam by that amount of percentage and oh, okay, okay. No, it's mostly about just understanding what's happening here and understanding that people won't be opening that wide with those 12 big blinds if they are that type of player. Obviously, many will do something different, but I see more is just understanding the concept of around being like tighter than you should expect and not do too much calling versus a little more jamming since people are call tighter and yeah, so even though like analyzing these spots afterwards will help you, you will not learn too much by just memorizing, okay, I should be um, raising and jamming a queen here and or not. It's more about like the understanding what people's ranging ranges look like. Guys, if you did enjoy the video, please put feedback in the comments. These videos are always kind of tough for me to record. And I would really love to give uh, get any feedback. You know, if you enjoy the strategy sessions every now and then, give me your feedback, guys. Gonna be more final tables coming up on the next couple of days. We had some good stuff coming up on Sunday. So definitely hit the subscribe button. i catch you again tomorrow or just the next time. Maybe on the stream as well on twitch.tv. Enjoy the rest of your days, guys. Peace out.